Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how to add the Teams add-in in Microsoft Outlook. So let's get it. The first thing we want to establish is, is it available for everybody? Now, Teams currently, if you're using the Teams app on your desktop, is only available for a business email or a professional email. So if you're using a free um, personalized email, then you are not going to be able to use Teams. So let me show you what to do. So I'm on the um, Outlook a desktop app and I'm going to go to file now once we're in file we're going to go down to options and we're going to go and look for the add-ins at the bottom now once you're here you will see a group of active application add-ins now you should find um, the Microsoft Teams meeting add-in for Microsoft Office here now there are two other categories there are inactive applications and there are disabled applications if you happen to find the teams add in here you can go to the bottom of the page where it says manage and just make sure that it on um, com add-ins okay if it is underneath the inactive and you're going to tap on go and you will find it here now currently as you see it says microsoft teams meeting add in for microsoft office it is checked on so we want to make sure that that is checked on now if it is in the disabled right i'm going to show you that you can at the bottom here where it says manage we are going to just open the disabled items and we're going to say go and it'll show you the disabled items so that's fine we're going to leave that for now so that's how you add it in okay um one other note that i must make is that if you are logging in to microsoft teams on the desktop app you won't be able to do so as i mentioned before with a personal email address but if you're going on let's say perhaps to um office 365 on your web browser you can access teams on the left hand side over here and it'll open up like this now for the longest time i was unable to um, connect the teams add-in um, onto outlook because i did not open microsoft teams and log in so you need to log in with microsoft teams on the browser and then you can freely use that add-in on your desktop app there we go ladies and gentlemen if this was helpful drop us a like we'll see you next time cheers